Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gaming. And in this week's edition we have gone super size with one particular creator and there's a, a personal little announcement at the end of this video so please make sure you watch it as it's extremely important for the continuation of this series. Thank you. So to kick things off this week we have the In-N-Out Burger by King Leno. Not only are we blessed with a beautiful, beautiful model, but we also have an amazing, huge sign. So make sure when you're downloading this, you get both options. Texture levels, as always, are of top-notch quality from King Leno. And the model itself, we're seeing a lot more in terms of unique design. And we're not really seeing people sticking to basic models anymore. We're seeing a lot of complex modeling, which is brilliant. And up next we have Acapulco with the Zaytin Han. From my understanding this is a Turkish architectural building and it's quite a medieval design in itself. It's nice to see a lot more in terms of different types of culture buildings. Uh, Mediterranean is certainly one that's lacking on the workshop. Now one creator this week who's certainly gone super sized is Revo. And I think he must hold the record for the largest statue in City Skylines workshop. These are the Atlas Twins and they are modelled and textured absolutely fantastically. Not going to suit all of your builds but certainly it's going <laughs> to take over the skyline wherever you place these. Fantastic model. We certainly look forward to some more. Next up we have 220 Hertz with this mid-size elementary school. Now schools are something that I've always considered to be poorly built in terms of the vanilla buildings. They never look quite like what I assume schools to be, certainly not in the UK. But this certainly does tick those boxes. A fantastic model and it's one that we can really decorate around it and make a beautiful sort of sports field and front area. These are the buildings that us detailers certainly love to work with. Fantastic model. Up next we have the current king of Euro buildings and Euro Row 60 by Feinblied is certainly one of those great European buildings. So these are more row buildings, there's been three released one is a one by one tile which looks beautiful and the other one is slightly longer in terms of its depth. But the designs themselves certainly do give that European feel and as always texture levels are beautiful. Up next we have another creation from King Leno, it's the Vista at Paradise Valley. Now this is a beautiful American apartment and well I haven't quite recreated how well this can look in an environment, but if you haven't already, a quick plug, give uh, King Leno's YouTube channel a quick look. He has done some outstanding builds as of late, and it's great to see a creator do his own builds as well. Also this week,
Now talking of super size, this is a monster by Revo. Now this is the biggest station currently available on City Skylines Workshop and it comes in three parts, you've got the two corners and the roof. So what I'd advise is check out his workshop to see how to place this down but my word is this an absolute beast. Fantastic model and we look forward to the more of these supersized models. And to finish today, the Christmas season is slowly upon us and Mr Miyagi has decided to help us get into the Christmas cheer slightly earlier with these beautiful chalet houses. Christmas decorated of course. Now these models would look a lot better if I decided to load up a winter map but I haven't. But anyway at night time you get the beautiful flashing lights and combined beautifully with Mr Mason's leady bushes. Now these really do set a beautiful winter scene. Now before we end this episode, I just wanted to make a quick announcement and just to really find out where this series is heading. Basically the update is I've recently had a few changes in my full time job which means time is a lot more limited in terms of creating content. Now I'm starting a very large project at the moment, a new actual City Skyline series which you'll find out more in the next couple of weeks and you understand why I'm going to need a little bit more time to work on this. So my question to you guys is how is the weekly asset roundup working for you? Is it worthwhile? If I can I will try and continue it but at the moment in time it's looking like it's going to be a lot harder to keep this series going. So what I'd like to ask is if you want to see this series continue on hit that like button. We'll see how many we get. We'll see, um, see what comments I get as well and I'll see what is possible. It might be that I can continue this but change the release date. It's just at the moment a lot of time is being spent on this new project and I'm finding it a lot harder to find the extra three to four hours to create this particular series. But yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I'll leave you with the outro. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Asset Roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.